Oh, the queen that is in me. I'm going to allow the queen in me to reign in my life. Say to reign in my life. Say the queen in me is about to dominate. The queen in me is about to begin to give orders to every heart desire that I have had. Say the queen in me has slept for a long time. But in this season, this queen in me has found favor in the sight of the king who is the king of kings and the lord of lords. And because I am that queen, I am here to reign. I am here to make it. I am here to command. I am here to have the authority. I'm here to show my authority. I'm here to demonstrate my dominion and authority in the camp of the enemy. In the camp of my enemy. Say neighbor. Say neighbor. Yes, I used to cry. Yes, I used to be broken. Yes, I used to complain. Yes, I used to mama. But after tonight, say after tonight, testify, say after tonight, say the queen in me is about to roll. Is about to roll. Somebody say hallelujah. Hey. Jesus. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. I said hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Say that queen in me. Say that queen in me is reigning. You know the qualities of a queen. Queens, they don't walk anyhow. Queens, they don't talk anyhow. There is a way in which a queen talks like. There is a way in how the queen walks like. And there is also a way in how the queen dresses like. And there is a way on how a queen addresses matters. So shake your neighbor a little bit. Say, neighbor, I might have been scattered. I might have been a nobody. I might have been walking like a headless chicken. But from tonight, I know who I am. I walk with my head up high. Can you take that step as my mother was demonstrating? Just walk like a queen a little bit. Just walk like a queen, somebody. Just, just walk majestically if you can. Walk like a... <laughs> I'm working miracles. I live a life of favor. I know who I am. I'm walking in power. I'm working miracles. I live a life of favor. Cause I'm walking power. I'm walking in power. I'm working miracles. I live a life of favor. Cause I know who I am. Take a look at me. I'm a wonder. It doesn't matter what you see now. Can you see his glory? And tell your name.
I'm a wonder. It doesn't matter what you see now. Can you see me, glory? I know who I am. Take a look at me, I'm a wonder. It doesn't matter what you see now. Can you see his glory? Cause I know. Take a look at me, I'm a wonder. I'm growing to be a creep that I up your hand and say, I am blessed. Somebody say, I am blessed. Somebody say, I am blessed. Listen. You know, when God has something for you, he always sets up a moment for you. So there is always a moment that you need to seize in the presence of God in order for you to capture that which God has for you. Because the moment you miss your moment, the moment you miss the timings of God, you might miss your lifetime opportunity and you might live regretting for the rest of your life. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. I said hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Are we ready tonight? Just for five minutes, I want my marauder just to greet us in five minutes. She's going to greet us, amen, with a powerful greeting. Are we ready to celebrate her? I said, are we ready to celebrate her? Are we ready to celebrate her? Yeah. Hmm. Listen, as she'll be getting done, we'll be going home. Amen? Now, I want you to know this. Tomorrow, we are here, all of us, right? Yeah. And the main are also here tomorrow, right? Tomorrow is our midweek service, so even main will be allowed to attend. Amen? Yeah, so that they come and receive the fire. Yeah. They need lectures tomorrow. Amen. 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 You know, counseling can never be complete. If you have been cancelled, your husband is not cancelled. Yes, ma'am. He needs both sides. Because you might be ministering to a wrong individual. They might not understand the language that you're ministering. You understand what I mean? So, tomorrow is the opportunity to come and hear what God has for them and what God has for us. Amen. Amen. Don't forget to invite somebody and don't miss tomorrow's service. Amen. Are you blessed? If you're blessed, go and bring somebody tomorrow. Amen. Bring your sister, your brother, your auntie, your uncle, your grandmother, your everybody. Come with them. Amen. Amen. And God will bless you and God will favor you. Amen. 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 I want the choir to just lead us in a short worship. Amen. As we are lifting up our hands. Amen. And worshiping this God. Praise the name of Jesus. I want you to sing hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift up your hands. Hallelujah.
To greet you. She's coming to greet you, not to minister to you, but to greet you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You may take your seat. To God be the glory. I love the theme for this meeting. Hallelujah. Hey, we are broken. Yes, we are broken. Yet we do not despair. But we keep on moving. We keep on moving. We are pressed here and there. But we are there. We are standing. Yes, we are standing. We are beaten right, left, front, backwards, up and down. But we are there upright. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. Is there someone in the house? Is there someone in the house? Yes! Sit down, woman. You know what? To be that queen. To be that queen. Hey! You must pass through something. You must pass through something to become something. You must pass through something to become something. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. I know very well the queen is inside you. But for this queen to come out, to manifest, hey, you must pass through something. Hey, hey. The queen inside must be provoked to come out. Hey. Praise the Lord. Okay. Okay. For you to become something, there is the making of God. God has to make you to become that thing. God has to make you to become that thing. Hallelujah. When we look at the life of David, when we look at the life of David, when you look at it, you may blame his brothers to say, no, they were bad. They hated him. They almost killed him and so on. You can blame them for many things. But yeah, yeah, yeah. He needed them so much. He needed them. He needed them. He needed them. Hey. He just needed them to push him to his. Hey. Those who are frustrating you. Those who are bringing this and that. The pain in your life. You need them so much. You need them. You need them. When they do it more and more faster and faster. They are pushing you faster to what you are supposed to be. Hallelujah. 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 Uh -huh. You need the Potiphar's wife. 
You need Potiphar's wife. Yes. You need her to push you to your final destiny. Yes. When all is well, all is right. And you are there. Somebody says, no, this is what has happened. This is what you have done. In the actual sense, you have done nothing. Don't blame yourself. Don't blame Potiphar's wife. But rejoice. Rejoice. For you are going to your final destiny. You are going on the throne, man. You are going on the throne. Hey. Ah. I like it so much. I like it so much. That husband of yours who is giving you fun, a quick and quack and what, whatever. You need him. You need him. You need him, man. You need him. Ah. He is pushing you to your, to your queenship. Praise the Lord. Don't hate anybody. You are on your way to your queenship. You are on your way to your queenship. Yeah. Hallelujah. We just need these trials and temptations so much. That's why Paul, Paul says that I, 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 I rejoice in tribulations. Yes. Yes. He enjoyed those things because he knew he was going to his place of reigning. He was going to reign. You can't reign without such. You can't. Brother or uh, sister, you can't. You can't. You can't. If only you understood what I'm talking about. I don't think you'd ask for a divorce. You won't ask for a divorce. You want, you want, you want. Because those things are pushing you to your reigning. Just be humble before the Lord. God is making you. God is making you into that queen. Into that queen that he wants you to be. Hallelujah. Are you getting that? Holy Ghost Embassy, are you getting that? Oh, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Uh huh. What else do you expect? What else? Stay under the pressure. Stay under the pressure. The pressure will reveal the content. The pressure will reveal the content. Hallelujah. The pressure will reveal the content. Pressure will reveal the content. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hey, prophetess, hope I can run mad. So please forgive me for tonight, tomorrow. Tomorrow, I can run mad. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hey, women, thank you very much that you have brought me back. That's my food. This is my food. I enjoy my food. Doing the will of the Father. Hey, to God be the glory. God bless you so much. We meet you tomorrow. Hey.
good greeting. Was that a powerful greeting? Now, if today she shook your hand, tomorrow she will hug you. By Friday, I don't know. Saturday, you'll be drunk. Sunday, you fail to go home. Listen. Imagine. I've told you that that was like more than 30 years ago. Somebody I used to admire. I mean, some 20 something years ago. I used to admire her and say, God, if only you could use me like her. You know, she ministers to multitudes, big meetings, where men are seated, but a woman is talking to both men and women. <laughs> Hence, I'm saying tomorrow's service, even if your husband is a drunkard, listen, we'll pray for him tonight. Memshak anointing will memshak him to Holy Ghost Embassy. He'll find himself in church tomorrow. At the end of the service of tomorrow, if your husband is not delivered, then we don't know which God. <laughs> hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Amen. Now imagine you have been blessed alone. Where is your friend? Where is your sister? Where's your family? Can't we bring them tomorrow? 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 We must bring them tomorrow. Praise the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. I say it, praise the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands. And I want you to pray for tomorrow's service. I want you to cover the speakers of tomorrow in the blood of Jesus. I want you to speak to every demonic wind raising against this conference. I want you to command that wind to be still in the name of Jesus. And I want you to decree that Lord, as you be remembering only one woman in this conference, let that woman be me. Let that woman be me. Let that woman be Eva Mboweni. Let that woman be Evangelist Hope. Let that woman be Patience Uhunga Banda. Let that woman be Wanda Kabamba Piri something. <laughs> ah, hallelujah. What God will do. Imagine out of all this conference, and then God just says, I came to bless Lorraine. That's all. Imagine God, God just comes and says, I just came to bless Mel. All the way from heaven. Just to come. Imagine to arrange such a conference. Bring speakers from all over. We will have other guest speakers that are joining us tomorrow. Some are joining us on Friday. These are powerful women of God that I'm talking about. People that have gone through stuff and they came out alive and still standing. Not that problem of one day and you think you want to pack your bags and go, no. Amen? Amen? People who have gone through real stuff. Huh? What? What? This woman, she has a living testimony. Last year, she was sharing her testimony before last year, right? Maybe you can tell them briefly about how you suffered in the hands of your husband and how God delivered him and now that he's a man of God. Praise the Lord. Just take your seats. You know, brethren, the woman you see standing here, 
the one standing here hey, has passed through life. What you can call life. I married 35 years ago. And I'm still there 35 years ago. Um, I've lived with my husband. But the things I passed through are bitter. They are bitter. Bitter. The scandals I've passed through were rough. You know what a scandal is? Do you know what a scandal is? Okay, thank God. Let me give you an illustration. Okay? We are staying. We are staying. But someone is busy going out, going out, going out, going out, not with one person. I don't know how many. I don't know. I don't know. Trying to tell him God wants this. This is not right. He says, are you God to tell me these things? Can you change me? You, you, can you change me? You can't let me live my life. It's not your life, it's mine. Amen. Sometimes I find him sleeping with a woman and I just go to pick him. I say, come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. I pick him. Let's go. And I just leave that woman to go. Later, I'll come back to evangelize to that woman. And some are children of God up to this day. This hand has never slapped him, not even one day. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to start. This mouth has never said, stupid, you fool. Never. If he was standing here, he was going to testify. I don't know those things. Because God did it for me. Yes. Sit, evangelist. Brethren, what I'm speaking, you may think they're stories of funny things. They are realities. Reality. At home, when we have women's conferences, there are women full. This place is small. And he will stand up and speak. You women, me, if it had not been for this woman, maybe I should have married now 50 women. Or maybe I should have been dead. But this one has kept me. I'm living because of this one. She's the one who has kept me. Brethren, it takes the humility of God. You must be humble. Don't antagonize with that man. Don't. Leave him. Leave him. Sometimes I used to leave him just like that. He comes back. I'll do everything for him. Everything, has, everything is normal. Then you just find... Are you not thinking of me? Eh? You don't mind about me. But those things, he's doing them alone. But now he's asking me, don't you mind about me? You see, when you leave someone like that, you just continue praying. 
You pray, go in your closet. Praise the Lord. Me, in my life, I have prayed. You know what? Like a mad woman. Mad. When it means mad. Mad. And sometimes I would even change my attire. I would put on a very small uh, pair of shorts. Very small. Very small pair of shorts. And I put on a t-shirt. And I said to them, I'm going to pray. And I'll pray, I'll jump, I'll pray. I'll pray. Hey, 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 hey. Ha! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, brethren, brethren, you know, when our mama says to be broken, it's not something easy. It's not easy. You have to make it in your heart. You make it to say, no, I'll fear God. I'll fear God. I'll not follow whatever is happening around me. I'll only fear God. Hallelujah. On three occasions, my husband was very sick and he even bid farewell. Tell those whom I've wronged to forgive me. Tell them I am gone. And I come, I say, no, you are not going. I haven't released you. You can't. In the name of Jesus. Choose life. I speak life in you in the name of Jesus. And you will be resuscitated. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because I know God has not finished with me yet. He has not finished making me. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yes. Are you there, church? Yes. Okay, praise the Lord. And sometimes, sometimes I tell him to say, you, if you die, what you should know is me, myself, I'll go in the mortuary and I'll help those men to prepare your body. I'll help them. I'll go there. So that when people look at you, I'm not disgraced. I'll help them. And he says, ah, but you people who say you are mad. I say, no, I'm not mad. I know who I am. I know what God has put inside me. I know who I am. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> I, I, I think I can't go further. This is the little, but I know I'll speak more. I know I'll speak more tomorrow, the other day. But this is the little that I can give you. I'm telling you, there is no man who is difficult to a woman. No man. No man is difficult to a woman. I'm telling you. No man. You just don't know who you are. You don't know what you're supposed to do. You don't know where God has placed you. There's no man who is difficult to a woman. I am telling you. I am telling you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God bless you so much. We shall speak tomorrow. Stand up on your feet. Let's clap hands for Jesus. I want you to pray, right? That prayer. Amen. What prayer did I say you must pray? Huh? 
tomorrow's service and that if God has to bless somebody, let that somebody be you. Lift up your hands and begin to declare and pray in Jesus' name.